So Montana and I are here in Topaki, north of Auckland with the lovely Shona and Philip Oliver, who are lifestyle block owners and also FMG clients. Welcome guys. Thanks. Thanks. So you're doing something quite special out here, aren't you? Um, yeah, I really love our country, our native flora and fauna, and I've become a bit of a pest evangelist, um, trying to rid the place of uh, possums, stoats, weasels, ferrets, rats, just doing it one pest at a time. Wow, look at this. Did you make all of these? A few of them. A lot of them have come from the men's shed. Easy enough to make your own if you're a little bit crafty. Just get some 150 mil fence paling and some mesh and away you go. And that's to protect our native wildlife in this part of the country, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Protecting our trees and our birds. We're already seeing more kereru, tui, uh, fantail, ruru on our land. And, you know, it's great to be doing our bit. And I recently saw a kaka. Wow. So what are some of the rarest birds being affected by pests in this area? The most important one is the Tara'iti, the fairy tern. There's less than 40 of them living just down the road from us. Is that right? So which pests are the biggest threat then? Possums, there's about 47 million of them. And, you know, they eat eggs, they eat young. Um, with things like the fairy tern, they nest on the ground. So okay. rats and, dare I say it, cats? Like really feral, at feral risk. cats. Fer feral cats, yeah. Um, you know, weasels and stoats, yeah, just, they nest on the ground, so they're just so at risk, so That's vulnerable. It. Pests are not only four-legged and on the land, they're also in the waterways. Here we're surrounded by two streams, so it's really important to me that I know how healthy they are. So YCARE is a citizen science water testing program, and it's about people being able to test their water, they're looking at those nitrates, phosphate, water temperature and water clarity mainly. Ah, the trap app. Yeah, this is Trap NZ, what we use with our uh, community here. You can see all of the people that have registered their properties and their traps on them. You can see what they're catching. It's a really great way to see where the connections are and also where the gaps are where you need to focus. My dog Hector would love this app because he can find out where all those 62 possums are. Little tasty treats. Does he catch a few himself? He does. Yeah, great. Maybe we could register Hector on the app. So how do you involve the community in pest eradication? I think involving the community is the key. What we did here is we've had some community meetings, get the ball rolling, find out who's interested, find out who's already trapping, and by doing that, by involving your neighbours, you're actually closing the gap. And hopefully we can get the whole country covered. I love to see good protection working. See what you did there. <laughs>